Since YouTube is the largest video sharing platform in the world, it can play a huge part in growing your business. This is why embedding a YouTube channel on your WordPress website can help you grow your audience while gaining more prospects for your business at the same time. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a beautiful and responsive YouTube channel feed like this and display it on your WordPress website. So if you're ready, let's jump into the tutorial. To display a YouTube channel on our WordPress website, we'll use the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create amazing, fully customizable YouTube feeds for your WordPress website. To get started, you can purchase the plugin from smashballoon.com. Once purchased, inside your account, you can find the download link and license key for your plugin. Next, head over to your WordPress dashboard. To install YouTube Feed Pro, go and hover over plugins on the left hand side and press Add New. Next, go up to the top and press Upload Plugin. Now you can select the zip file for YouTube Feed Pro and click Install Now. Once installed, we can also activate the plugin. And there we go, our plugin has now been installed. But before we go and create our YouTube channel feed, let's go and activate our license key. On the left hand side, you'll now notice YouTube feed, hover over it and click on settings. Here we can enter the license key that we copied earlier. Simply paste it here like this and click on activate. And as you can see now, our license key is active and we can begin creating our YouTube feed. Once again, under YouTube feed, click on all feeds. And at the top here, click on add new. With YouTube feed pro, you have the option of creating many different types of YouTube feeds. You can create a feed of videos from your YouTube channel, a feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you favorited, and so much more. In this video, we're gonna create a feed of videos from our YouTube channel. So let's select this one and click on next. Now it will show you two different ways to connect your feed to YouTube. You can either enter a YouTube API key or you can connect your YouTube account instead. If you want full access to all different types of YouTube feeds, I recommend you go with the API key option. For this video, let's select API key. I already have my API key ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, I've included a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that in the description of this video. Let's paste it here and click on add. Next, we'll have to enter in the channel ID or username for the YouTube channel we want to feature on our feed. Over here, it tells you how you can find your username or YouTube channel ID. For this video, I'll be featuring the WP Forms YouTube channel on our feed. So I've already got their channel ID copied and I can go ahead and paste it like this and click on next. Now we can select the template for how we want our YouTube channel feed to look. You have options like default, carousel, cards, list, and more. You can select the one you want to use and click on next. And here you'll see a beautiful preview of your brand new YouTube channel feed. You can see all the latest videos from the WP Forms YouTube channel right here in neatly arranged tiles. And if I scroll down below, we have buttons to load more videos and to subscribe as well. Before we go ahead and embed our YouTube channel feed onto our web page, I'll show you how we can customize it. Under the Customize tab under Feed Layout, it gives you many different options to customize the layout of your feed. You have options like the grid layout, which arranges your videos in neatly organized rows and columns like this. You have the gallery layout, which highlights one video at the top with all your other videos underneath, or even the list layout, which arranges your videos in a neatly organized single column list like this, and even the carousel layout with all your videos in a slideshow carousel like this. Select the layout you like the most and make sure to hit save on the top right corner once you're happy with it. In our current template, our feed doesn't have a header, but if you go into header over here, you can enable one by simply clicking the toggle like this. You can choose from a standard header that shows your channel name, icon, and other info at the top like this, or you can even change it to a simple header like this. With each one, you also get further options to customize it below. And if you made any changes, make sure to go and hit save on the top right corner. At the bottom of our feed, you'll notice we have a load more and subscribe button. Both of these buttons are fully customizable too. Just head over to the respective menu like this. You can enable or disable the button. You can customize the button ticks and the colors as well. And if you'd like to see how your feed will look like on different devices, you can click on these buttons here to see how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Once you're happy with how your feed looks, we can now embed it onto a WordPress web page. To embed our feed, all you have to do is click on embed on the top right corner. And here it gives you a dedicated shortcode that you can paste anywhere on your website. Simply copy it like this and click on add to a page. Now select the page you want to add your feed to. I'm going to select this one and click on add. Here you have two different options to embed your YouTube channel feed. You can either paste the shortcode we copied earlier like this into a shortcode block, or if you're using Gutenberg, you can add the dedicated feeds for YouTube block instead like this. And there we go. We've easily added our YouTube channel feed onto our page. Let's check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here it is. Here's our YouTube channel feed live on our WordPress webpage. And if I scroll down and click on load more, it will load even more videos on our YouTube channel feed like this. Alternatively, if you want to add your YouTube channel feed onto the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that very easily too. Just go and click on embed like before. And instead of clicking on add to a page, 
we can now go and click on Add to a Widget instead. And that brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu. In this example, let's add our YouTube channel feed onto the sidebar of our website. To do so, we have the same options as before. You can paste the shortcode like before, or we can use a dedicated feeds for YouTube block like this. And there it is, it's all good to go. We can press on Update, and then we can go check out what it looks like on the front end. And now back on our live web page, in the middle, we have that original YouTube channel feed that we created earlier. And on the right hand side, we can see the YouTube channel feed as a widget on the sidebar as well. And if I click load more, it will load even more videos directly in the sidebar. And there you go, we've successfully added a YouTube channel feed onto our WordPress website, both onto the page and as a widget onto the sidebar as well. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're having any technical issues, feel free to reach out to our amazing support team. They'd be happy to help you out. If you want to check out YouTube Feed Pro, you can visit smashballoon.com. I've added links for it in the description of this video, along with links to all our other social feed plugins for platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Make sure to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.